So here we have some purple and white deceiver mushrooms. Uh, deceiver mushrooms or mushrooms in the genus Lecaria are called deceivers. It's not because they are highly toxic, but because they change shape and uh, color quite a bit over their progression. These are no different. They'll start off as kind of a pale lilac color and have these uh, big bulging bases. They look kind of like a bowling pin when they first come out. Uh, but then it will lighten in color and its cap will unfold and it will look kind of like a normal cap and stem. A mushroom with a pale white color and a deep purple gills and uh, then like uh, many lacarias like to do it can kind of turn its top inside out. Uh, lacarias have uh, widely spaced very deep gills. The gills on this mushroom are a deep purple color which is very striking and it will have a white spore print which is very important because that can differentiate it from some dangerous lookalikes like uh, Cortinarius type mushrooms which will have a rusty brown spore print. Uh, we just looked at the uh, Cortinarius iotes a couple weeks ago, the viscid violet Cortinarius. That would be a dangerous lookalike for this mushroom. Uh, but yeah, this is a technically edible mushroom. The caps are supposed to be good. The stems are too fibrous. It's just not a very big mushroom. It's not a mushroom you're going to find in large quantities, uh, but uh, you can eat it. And uh, you can find it in the eastern United States, July to November. And the peak season is right about now, in August and September. So uh, yeah, maybe you can find this one, the purple and white deceiver mushroom. <laughs>